Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 45 of Book 1, which gives us the instructions on how to draw a parallelogram with the following conditions. We have a four-sided figure, an arbitrary four-sided figure. We have a specified angle. And this proposition will give us the instructions on how to draw a parallelogram such that the area of the parallelogram is equal to the area of our original four-sided figure. All right, so let's begin. First, let's start with an arbitrary four-sided figure and our angle epsilon. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to draw a diagonal. And you, as you can see, we are now left with two triangles. So our next step is to draw a parallelogram that's equal in area to ADB, or this triangle right here. So using the methods described in Proposition 42, we are constructing a parallelogram equal in area to this triangle. Almost done. And to make our diagram easier to work with, I'm going to translate this parallelogram to a point down here just to clean up our picture. All right, I'm just sipping along here really quickly. There's nothing new here, I'm just copying lines and angles. So now we have a triangle and a parallelogram that is equal in area. The next step is to draw a parallelogram that's equal in area to this triangle. Again, using the methods described in Proposition 42. And our parallelogram will have the angle epsilon as part of its construction. All right, almost done. And there we go. And now we're going to copy this parallelogram to the length gh so that it is equal in size using, using the methods described in Proposition 44. This is going to go pretty fast, but here we go. The first thing I'm doing is copying the length gh to the extension of our parallelogram to make the, the drawing a little easier. <clears throat> and now I've constructed a parallelogram that is equal in area to this triangle, and I'm copying it back to my line GH. So I now have that this triangle is equal in area to this parallelogram, and the pink triangle is equal in area to the pink parallelogram, and that this is a parallelogram. So how do we demonstrate that this, in fact, is a parallelogram and that the areas are as I said they are? Well, first, since FK and GH are parallel lines, then this angle is equal to this angle. And delta plus epsilon is equal to 180 degrees because they are the intersection of two parallel lines. So consequently, delta plus epsilon is 180 degrees, and this forms one straight line. So this is a straight line. Now again, we have two parallel lines, FG and KM. Interior and opposite of the parallel lines are equal. So this is epsilon, and this is epsilon. And we also have the exterior to the interior opposite angles. When added, sum up to two, sum up to two right angles. So if we have epsilon plus beta is equal to 180, degrees, then FL forms a straight line. So now we have that this is a parallel, parallel line to this, which is a parallel line to this, so that we know that FK and LM are parallel lines, according to Proposition 30. And if we have two parallel lines, 
of equal length, which they are of equal length because of the way we've constructed it. We have two parallel lines of equal length. If we join the endpoints with a straight line, they are also of equal length and parallel. And consequently, FKML is a parallelogram. And we've already established that this area is equal to this area, and this area is equal to that area. So the sum of the pink and the blue of the triangles will be equal to the sum of the pink and the blue of the parallelogram. And hence, we have drawn a parallelogram equal in area to our four-sided figure. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.